Um, what take are we on? 128. 100, 128. So we got Asus Zenbook Pro Duo 15. Chris Howe, take 128. Imagine though, imagine it was 128. How's it going everybody? My name is Chris Howe and I am a video content creator and YouTuber from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And thank you ASUS so much for having me here today. Now on any given week, I'm producing content for my social channels or clients. This content demand right now is crazy. It's actually insane how much we have to keep up with. I feel like between personal projects, client projects, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Facebook, there's, there's just too much to keep up with. So the tools that we use as creatives are very important in terms of our productivity and output. Today, I wanna to share with you my experience with this laptop right here. This is the ASUS ZenBook Pro Duo 15, and I'm gonna give you a little window into our Adobe Premiere Pro video workflow and how we use this laptop to increase our output and creativity. Now, I wanna start off by showing you this video that we created last year called Toronto in 90 Seconds, and I'm gonna put it right beside the Premiere Pro timeline to show you how much goes into an edit like this and exactly what we had to do to achieve it. This is your captain speaking. If you look out to your left, you can see the beautiful city of Toronto. We are now making our final descent. Please fasten your seatbelts. That is one of our favorite videos that we've ever created. So how do you edit something like this? A lot goes into it. So first you wanna start off with selects. Now when we're shooting, we generally take a lot of notes of what takes we like and which ones that we think will work best in our final edit. Now for example, that door kicking shot that you saw in that video, we did that 10 times, but we already knew on location which one was gonna end up in the final edit. So what we'll do is we'll bring up our notes and our script in Google, and then we'll set up a workspace on this laptop where Premiere Pro is on the main screen right here. And then our notes and our script is on the second screen right here. This is the screen pad plus. This way we can easily reference all our takes and just speed up the process of building out a rough cut. From there, we'll start to add the spice to the edit, you know, the final layer on the cake. That includes graphics, sound effects, and a color grade. Now at this stage, we'll activate the ASUS control panel. That's what they call it. And that automatically connects to Premiere Pro and creates an awesome virtual interface. With this interface, we can dial in our edit and get more precise with our changes. Now, in my personal opinion, artistry is all about nuance. It's all the little details that make something great. And micro adjustments can be very hard to hit with a mouse. Now, as a video content creator and editor, it's actually nice to interact with your content outside of a typical keyboard and mouse input. You got touch screens here, we've got the virtual dial. It just means that I can add a bit more of myself and my personality and creativity into my edits. So one of my favorite parts of the video editing process is adding the color grade. What I normally do is I find a really cool song that matches the tone of the video, and I kind of just get lost in adding like different colors to the shadows, to the highlights, and finding a color grade that matches our video. Now, in order to do that, we start by adding an adjustment layer and balancing out all the shots by changing the color temperature, exposure, and shadows and highlights. Then we add another adjustment layer in Premiere Pro on top of that to add the grade to enhance the mood and vibe of the shot. Now, in this case, in terms of this video right here, we wanted to show Toronto is a vibrant city in the summer. So we leaned a bit heavier on the warmer tones like the yellows and the oranges and the red, and then we added a slight saturation boost to really achieve that final look. It's actually such a pleasure to color grade on a computer like this because this laptop right here has a 4K ultra high definition OLED color accurate screen. 
Now there's two important parts from those stats that I just told you. Number one, it's OLED, which means that it renders richer colors and deeper blacks. And number two, and most importantly for our workflow, is that it's color accurate. Why is color grading on a color accurate monitor so important? Well, you wanna make sure that your final video looks good when it's played back on multiple devices and other computers and screens all around the world. Now this final stage of editing in Premiere Pro generally causes a lot of stress on almost any computer, especially an edit like this that is running multiple plugins, effects, color, and large file sizes from multiple cameras. Now, one thing that we were genuinely surprised with when we actually started using this laptop was how decent the playback was with all these effects running. Now, from our understanding, this has mostly to do with the graphics card that's in this computer right here. Now, this laptop is running the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card, which ultimately allows for smoother playback and quicker rendering times. Now on top of that, you wanna make sure that you're not disrupting your creative flow. This is so important, I cannot iterate this enough. If something like long render times or glitches or choppy playback disrupts my flow, it takes such a long time for me to get back into that flow state. And studies have shown that it takes an average of 25 minutes to refocus on an original task after a single interruption. And the less distractions and roadblocks that I have in my life means that I can create more, more often. The quick rendering that comes out of this laptop is so essential for us as YouTubers because success on YouTube relies so heavily on consistency. And you wanna make sure that you get videos up and out as quickly as possible. Now, for example, this video is roughly 90 seconds and it only took three minutes to export on this laptop versus on my desktop, it took eight minutes to export and that computer is only two years old. Now, what I appreciate about this laptop from a workflow perspective are things like the dual touchscreen. In my personal opinion, this opens up a lot of doors for creatives and their ability to interact with their art. So your work is very much impacted by the tools that you use. On top of that, being able to get comparable desktop performance on the go is so essential to us. We travel all the time, so being able to have a laptop like this is so great for our YouTube channel. Now, I hope that gave you a super quick overview on our workflow in Premiere Pro. If you guys wanna learn more, I post lots of tutorials on my social media accounts as well as my YouTube channel, so you guys can go and follow me there. Thank you, Azus, so much for having me here today.